Hey, what is up, buddy? Holly and the Crickets. Look what has emerged from the thickets. Oh my. It is Magic Square's Brob Ding Blah Blah. It's a Grimlock from their Legend Scale series. And get the cup out of here, dude. Look, he even has the G1 stance. And if I've done. If I've done my editing right, you will see the G1 image right here. Wow, striking resemblance. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And yeah, this was sent to me by my sponsor, Show to the Z, showzstore.com. Check them out. A wonderful place to shop for first party, third party, 12th party, 11th party, every party. Um, but yeah, you can see the little dudes over here from uh, the episode of like the Gulliver's Travels once when they're all like shrinking down. And uh, yeah, these guys are diminutive figures, so I think it all makes sense. Check out the background over here. What is it? The Jurassic, the Cretaceous, or the Delicious, or some period from back in the day. But it looks nice. It looks real, real nice, actually. And um, we're going to pop them open. I'm actually quite excited. This is the first time that I'm messing with a Legend Scale Dino. You know what? I take that back. Um, back in the day, some time ago, um, DX9. DX9 had a set of dinosaurs. Ooh. Yo, Dude, he's big. Dude, he's big. Hold up for a second. Yo, Soundwave, where you at? I'm sorry, I got Soundwave over here, always recording. Dude, he's almost as tall as Soundwave. Holy cow. So for the legend scale, this dude is going to be scale accurate. Wow. Wow. And I guess that's the whole purpose on like why he's so large. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. Yo, my G looks like he popped my G. Hey, Grimlock, my Grimlock. Dude, he looks like he popped out of the cartoon, man. Wow. Check out all the smooth aesthetics. I know some people don't like that. I know some people like it a little bit busier and stuff, but dude... This is so, like, cartoon accurate, because, you know, in the cartoon, they're not putting a ton of detail, because, yeah, they're doing all this, like, you know, they're just manually drawing these things, and they didn't have time for all of that, and, um, dude, he's so, like, campily smooth in his G1 goodness, oh my, um, and you can see that there's this kind of, like, telescoping uh, waist thing, so he can do, um, nice, like, uh, ab crunches and stuff, but... Wow, let me see how the legs, okay, the legs move up similar to their prime in that they have the skirt that kind of moves, oh, woof, almost messed this up. So this is actually really similar to um, their prime. The back skirt doesn't open, but the side flaps open, opens up, and then that front skirt kind of goes in when you do the haya, and it allows them to do this kind of like high kick and stuff. Yo, back in the day, my boss split his pants doing a high kick, because <laughs> he said he... He bet a stack of video games that he could do it, but uh, that's, a, that's another story, my friend. But yeah, dude, look at that, dude. No hollowness on the legs. Nice and all covered up. Wow. Wow. Um, Do the arms? Uh, oh. Yo, this is a trip, dude. I've got... It's kind of weird, dude. So I guess it's because they, they, they want the dino leg to be able to fold like that, but then the arm has to go bend like this. So there is this like, oh wow, that's a very unique elbow mechanism, one that I've never seen before in a toy. That's really interesting. Um, and then the arms come out like this. Wow, I had no idea. And this is probably going to be a lot more complex than I'm thinking in terms of transformation because all of this stuff, you see all these like tabs and panels and things like that. Everything is hidden away so well. It's not just going to happen without some type of uh, magic, I guess, magic square going on. But hold up for a sec. Let's take a look. Sorry, man. I'm just geeking out. You know, you know, these uh, unboxing and reviews, they're, they're really just, I mean, there are a ton of incredible toy reviewers out there. Kato, Deluxe Baldwin, Larkin, Inutabi, tons of folks, you know, uh, TMR, Team Ant, but like they do proper reviews, you know. I don't. I just do unboxings and like kind of fiddle and fuddle with stuff. Um, so if you if you want to check out like a proper transformation review and you want good insights and like people's takes and stuff, like go check out those reviewers. Those guys are like legit, dude. I'm like a faker. I just do skits and make fan modes and 
<laughs> do the occasional toy review when I, when I, when I get from my sponsors. All right, anyway, enough yammer yammering. Let's take a look at the accessories. Normally I jump into the accessories first, but boy, I love Grimlock so much that I was just kind of smitten and like dove into the deep end, right? And uh, oh, oh. Well, par for the course, we have the Magic Square instructions. Oh, it looks pretty simple actually, yay. Yay for simplistic, but yet achieving sophisticated looks. Um, we have the crown. And I believe this is from the comic. I'm trying to see if there's a, a specific front or back. I can't really tell, but even on the inside, it looks pretty symmetric. So I'm just... Can I just... Does it? I, I, I honestly can't tell if, if it goes on a specific way. Oh, okay. That's cool, man. I wish it sat a little bit deeper. Because he kind of looks like he got the Chili's Awesome Blossom. You know what I'm talking about? The little onion thing on top of his head. Uh, that's alright. That's alright. So what else we got? Got the sword. But I feel like Grimlock's sword doesn't look like this. You know what I mean? Or, or, or maybe it does in the cartoon. And they wanted it to be car uh, cartoon accurate. Maybe that's what it is. Because the toy... Nah, he has that very, very um, specific looking like hilt that comes up like halfway. You know what I'm talking about, right? Kind of supports the blades and what the... Oh, he has expressive hands in here. Nice vanity hands. What the... Oh. <laughs> I, almost, I almost cursed. What is this? Okay. Ichthus. I don't know, some type of fish. Um, and we got the little nice, 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 nice little tech deck and all that stuff. Somebody, somebody tell me, what is, what is this fish for? Somebody, please. I'm sure it's like something related to lore and, and all of that. Um, I don't know, dude. Honestly, it's been so long since I watched G1. Like, I wouldn't even be able to recall a full episode in its entirety. And I, I did try to go, um, try to watch them. Like, the episodes again. Yo, it's too campy, man. <laughs> it's way too campy. I can't, um, I can't sit through it. But anyway, he's a good looking boy. I bet you he's gonna look even better in dino mode and we're gonna do that right now. I'll be right back, friends. All right, we're back. And, uh, you know, while I would love to do like kind of like a cleaner cutaway and um, just kind of show you like the segments as I progress through this, I feel like he's simpli simplistic enough that perhaps we can just kind of do this together. And looking at this, I don't know, there looks like there's a lot of like enjoyable bits. So I'd like to kind of discover them with you like in real time. You know, oftentimes like I'll transform it and then I'll come back and be like, oh guys, check this out. But then like, yeah, let's just kind of do it together because there are some interesting things going on here like this. Uh, oh, you know what, before we go on, I was gonna say, so I took some pictures for the thumbnail. I, I will say the one thing that I don't like about this is the manufacturing. It it it's kind of loose, like this stuff is like, constantly popping off and you can see that the chest doesn't want to like fully stay in like together and uh th this is as much as cool as this is like it just comes out like a little bit too easily i just wish it was a little bit tighter just a little tighter like a like this arm this is good this is good but like the way this pops out and the way uh, this swivels okay too this is okay but some of them like is some of it is just a little, a little too much yeah yeah Anyway, this is really interesting because this, I thought it was just one molded piece and it's really hard to tell, but it says that this thing comes up. That's wild, man. Because of the, the matte, uh, matte plastic, it's really hard to tell that this is a separate piece. And so I think that's really interesting. And I'm wondering if it's molded separately. So later on, if they do a like um, toy version, this will be translucent, you know, um, who knows? But yeah, it says lift. Is lift this up lift this up while these are coming like forward so i guess what we're doing is we're like these are the the tabbing locking mechanisms that magic square is kind of like known for they're very panely but they do have a lot of like uh luck i can't talk they do have a lot of locking mechanisms in place and so here we go we open all of this up like this normally the grimlock would not do all of this you know like this is this is all quite new actually um and then it looks 
like this gray piece, they, they need it to come out and this yellow piece needs to go in. And then this part says it's just gonna fold in on itself and it's gonna close I'm gonna have to cut away and come back because I can't, I'm just not gonna sit here and waste your guys' time while I try to figure this out. I'll be right back, my bad. Okay, I think I kind of figured it out. Um, this chest can become dislodged from here, but I'm still, yeah, I thought I had, oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> All right, those flaps are coming out. And then these are kind of closing around it like so. So we're re, re kind of like creating the chest. But yeah, it says like this bit is supposed to like all go in here. That's what I can't quite figure out at the moment. Like I think it's supposed to be just like... Hmm. Like the picture shows that the head is upright again, you know, but I cannot figure out this clearance. I don't know if that's it. Yeah, I don't know if that's it, man. <clears throat> All right, whatever, dude. <laughs> Let's just keep going. It says the head's gonna... Man, I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna figure this out. Give me a second. All right, I, I think I figured it out, but... That's weird, dude. Okay, so on the chest earlier, we talked about how this stuff all opens, right? And then those yellow bits. Let me use a sword actually to illustrate. These yellow bits, they went down. This is supposed to be right. This, oh my bad, dude. Let me get this camera. This bit right here was folded down. You have to raise up and. Uh, I'm gonna say, I think it's over engineered. <laughs> I always say everything's over-engineered when I have difficulty transforming it, but like, dude, hold up. So I, I, I do wish this would like lock in somehow, but it doesn't have a locking mechanism. So it's just kind of, you're holding things in place. Um, yes. I don't know. We'll figure this out. And then it says the head is supposed to be back here and, and we're gonna keep going. Um, and like there's like a million things that they, they want us to do at once. Like, like they don't really show how the hand depresses, but my guess is, oh, okay, I'm sorry, dude. Here, there's no, there's no, there's nothing on the instructions that show you how the hand transforms, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So there's that. And then we'll do that for this side, too, this side too. I can feel the joints are getting like looser as I'm like, this is really loose. I'm not terribly happy about that. It's operating off of a pin, so there's no ratchet or anything there. But um, it, I mean, it's still a nice figure, but you know, I'm just calling things out for, for, for what they are. Yeah, I'm trying to move things around in the way that they're asking, but boy. This chest not tabbing in, in this kind of mid process kind of sucks, dude. Um, Cause there's a lot of things happening over here. And the fact that you got to do that is, is, is pretty annoying to be completely honest. You know, when I was looking at the instructions, I was like, oh, this looks like so much fun. Like I want to get everyone involved and yada, yada, yada. And I'm looking at it now and I don't know. They just skipped a bunch of steps. What? All right, I got the legs. Oh, okay. It's just from the knees, you gotta, you gotta flip the legs around. I was trying to flip them from the thighs. And then you do that, then you say, it says, so open this up. I like that a lot. It says bring this out. That's very Grimlock-esque. Um, Oh, and tail comes up while all of this kind of like accordions out here. Tail looks nice. Nice design and shape and contour and everything. Um, okay, let's just kind of have that out there. 
for the moment and then it says it's going to move past the leg in the front um, what's going on with this so this one up and then And this is supposed to unfold. Uh, you know what? I mean, I'm 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 really bad at transformations. I sometimes wonder if it's my neurodivergent brain that makes it so that these are more challenging than they actually are. Because I'm constantly getting confused as to like where I am right now. Like this is a real challenge for me. Like, I have no idea. I mean, there's instructions that are kind of showing me, like, what's going on here, but the orientation is so different. It's, it's, it's kind of tripping me out, dude. All right, I'll have to do this off camera. So I'm scratching my head right now. I'll be right back. Hello, friends. Ah, as you can see, I skipped ahead. Um, Dude, like it's cool, it's cool, but then the instructions are not very helpful. Uh, and certain areas, like they don't tell you that you're supposed to extend stuff to like pull out. And then I'm just like applying brute force to it, trying to get it to open, not realizing that there's like very specific ways like this. You have to pull this out. I had no idea. I had no idea. It doesn't tell you um, either. And then from here, we're gonna do the the masterpiece Grimlock, like you know the the maneuver. <laughs> Should I leave that in there, dude? <laughs> it was a whisper, but I cursed. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> bruh, I can't get this close. <laughs> ah, I'll be right back. Just to let you know, I did it, man. Pain in the butt. Thankfully, they have things that allow you to lock things in place, and that makes life a lot easier, but man, I wish they had applied that same principle kind of over here as well, because we're still kind of figuring this bit out. Oh, do I need to? Wait a minute. What? Did I just on the wrong side? Oh, no, no, no. I guess that spins around like that. Oh, okay. I wonder if I could just, if I could just like freestyle this. Like the legs obviously are gonna come down over here, right? So this, I'm wondering, is this near, this is just for a butterfly joint? Like this is not for transformation? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it is. I think this is just for robot mode articulation. But, uh, okay. So, oh, you know what? I messed up. You see that tab right there? It's supposed to be on the inside of this. God. Mother. Father. Ah, I love the magic square stuff and I love all these tab things. But boy, you, you miss one. You got to recreate Rome, dude. You got to like rebuild Rome from the ground. Oh, no. It's all coming undone. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> I promise. I swear. I think we're almost there. <laughs> I think. Uh, looking at the instructions, it says push this all the way in. Then it says take this and also push this all the way in here. So, okay. And then what's interesting is on the inside of the wings, there's a separate hinge. Every Grimlock I've seen has never had this double hinge. But what it allows us to do is not only does it keep the wings compact in bot mode, which is kind of like this, you extend it in uh, robot mode, or excuse me, you extend it in dinosaur mode so that when all these, what? Dude, I had it a second ago. It's gonna close in like this, but Dude, this thing is still throwing me for a loop, dude. Yeah, 
that's a trip, man. Like, and so I get it. Like, these are going to, this is going to all fold up and it's going to be all like beautiful and wonderful. And let me, let me get the head in here because there's a little, there's little tabs that you need to encase with this bit so the head doesn't move around. And, you know, that's part for the course. Like, we've seen other Grimlocks do that. So, like, jeez Louise. Oh, my mother. Dude. Dude, I'm about to... Bruh. Grimlock. Can... Bruh. Can you, like, not come apart while I'm, like messing with you dude i swear like i've seen those um video game reviewers like i don't know their names because i honestly hate them they just like yell and scream all the time you know what i'm talking about there are these influencers who will be playing video games and when something bad happens they just like total nuclear meltdown and i'm like yeah i get it dude you're doing a bit people like people like seeing you freak out and stuff but man as i'm going through this i'm one i'm wondering like dude i wonder if what how much of what they do is genuine because I'm about to scream and yell and rage quit right now um, at how crazy this is. I, you know what? I think I figured something out accidentally that that this is the, the answer to all of my complaints. This will kind of cinch in here leg you turn that around and everything will close up and now i can stop complaining stop complaining and i can stop sounding like a bee a bumble bee um what's going on what's going on oh it's that chest bit okay i had to get clearance oh my god We did it. He's done. Boy, that was uh, not fun. It was okay. It was okay. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever done. And I'm sure going through this a second time, it'll be dope. It'll be fun. And I'll be all smiles and butterflies and giggles and ice cream and stuff. But going through it the first time was uh, not fun. It was not great. Oh, it's cool. He has a little um, blaster thing. Does he... Oh, okay. He has a little blaster thing, but he doesn't have any flame effects. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Like. Well, you can put him there if you want. <laughs> but. Mm. Okay. And, uh. Yeah, man. He looks dope. He looks phenomenal. Like, he's so, like, right out of the cartoon. You can kind of do this, like, head cock thing, the little, uh, expressive, like, huh? What? What? Dinosaurs are dead? What? That's pretty cool. Very, very expressive. Proportions, great. How smooth it is. Wonderful. Getting here. Eh, perhaps a little over-engineered, to be completely honest. I mean, it looks phenomenal, though. Once it's all locked in and tabbed, tabbed, tabbed in place, a la Magic Square. Like, but see this? This is this is. Yeah. Alright, dude. Like one comes off, and everything comes off. so annoying but i get it i get it once you have it secured it's not going to fall off like right now like this is good this is good nothing's gonna but getting here was a pain in the astro train wow still though if you like legends figures and if you do not mind the matte finish that the magic square products have this is a beautiful piece in dino mode it looks good in robot mode it looks good the path to A to B is um, a little cumbersome and not that fun. But to be completely honest, who the heck is just chilling 
with their toy half transformed, right? It's either going to be in bot mode or alt mode, and it's not in the gobbledygook in between. So hey, if you're looking for a good Legends Grimlock, this might be your guy. There's also the New Age one too, right? But I don't know, man. He's pretty nice, dude. And so if you do like this guy, you're into Magic Square and you feel like picking him up, please do me a huge favor and buy this guy on Shozy, shozystore.com. Um, I, I, I don't, you know, tell you to punch in a code or anything like that. I, I don't really care, but just support them. They support me and um, I would just appreciate if you would just shop on their site. <laughs> That's about it. Showing my sponsors some love and boy, this was fun, but a little bit aggravating and I probably talk too much right now. Anyway. Thanks for watching, friends. Talk to you soon. Bye, 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 bye.